The PlayStation Portal is Sony's remote play handheld device that streams games directly from your PlayStation 5 console. For this streaming to work properly, the portal requires a stable network connection with the correct NAT TEAT configuration. NAT stands for Network Address Translation. It's a system that manages how devices in your home network communicate with the internet through your router. Your router assigns private IP addresses to devices like your PlayStation 5 and Portal, then translates these to public addresses for internet communication. There are three different NAT types, each offering different levels of network connectivity and restrictions. NAT type one, also called open, provides the best connectivity. This occurs when your device has a direct internet connection with no firewall restrictions. It offers the fastest and most reliable connection for gaming. NAT type two or moderate is the most common setup. Your device connects through a router with proper port forwarding configured. This provides good connectivity and works well for most gaming scenarios, including PlayStation Portal. NAT Type 3, called Strict, has limited connectivity due to firewall or router restrictions. This type often causes significant connection problems and should be avoided for PlayStation Portal use. For PlayStation Portal to function properly, you need NAT Type 1 or 2. These provide the necessary network access for the remote play protocol. NAT Type 3 will cause significant connectivity issues and poor streaming performance. Remember, the PlayStation Portal functions as a streaming client. It needs a reliable connection to your home PS5 console, accessible network ports for the remote play protocol, and a stable network with minimal latency for the best gaming experience. The first and easiest solution is to enable UPnP in your router settings. UPnP allows automatic port configuration, which can resolve most NAT type issues without manual setup. If UPnP doesn't work, you'll need to manually forward specific ports. PlayStation Portal requires TCP ports 80, 443, and 9295 through 9304, plus UDP ports 9296 through 9304. Remote Play specifically needs TCP port 9302 and UDP port 9303. As a last resort, you can place your PlayStation 5 in the router's DMZ or demilitarized zone. This gives unrestricted internet access, but exposes your console to potential security risks. So use this method only if other solutions fail. Changing your DNS settings can also improve connectivity. Switch to public DNS servers like Google DNS at 888.8 and 884.4, or Cloudflare DNS at 1.11 and 1.0.1. These often provide better routing and faster response times. Configure quality of service settings to prioritize gaming traffic. This ensures your PlayStation Portal gets bandwidth priority over other devices, reducing lag and improving connection stability. Finally, ensure your router firmware is up to date. Manufacturers regularly release updates that improve gaming compatibility and fix connectivity issues. Check your router's admin panel for available updates and install them regularly. These six methods should resolve most NAT type issues with your PlayStation Portal. Start with UPnP, then try port forwarding and use DMZ only as a last resort. Don't forget to optimize your DNS settings, enable QoS gaming priority, and keep your router firmware updated for the best performance.